Good morning, it's Sandy, and yes, I am not in my car this morning. <laughs> this is a Sunday morning moment, and this morning, uh, I am in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we are still kind of in the throes of Hurricane Florence. And so this morning, I wanna just talk about hope. Hope is the way out of any storm. So if you are watching this morning, thank you so much. Uh, please um, click like, please click share, please click my link above on my YouTube channel and subscribe. And I just am so thankful that you're watching this morning and I pray that this will be a little moment of encouragement for you. So I wanted you to know that I totally understand what hopeless feels like. I went through a really dark time in my life uh, probably seven or eight years ago and I lived there for about three years and it was pretty desolate. And this morning as I um, wake up and it's Sunday morning, we have no church service this morning, but I hear the thunder and I see the rain. I finally got one window. I could get one of my windows unbarricaded because the worst of the storm is over here at my house. So I can finally get some daylight shining in. But desolation and hopelessness is a really bad place to be in. And some of you may feel that way this morning, or maybe you are experiencing the storm called Hurricane Florence if you live in uh, the southern part of North Carolina or the um, uh, northern part of South Carolina. And, or maybe perhaps your storm is not named Florence and it's not named Hurricane, but definitely it's got a name. There is a storm in your life somewhere. So this morning as we sit here, I just wanted to encourage you this morning that there is always a way out. There is always hope. My hope is in the Lord who made heaven and earth. There is always hope. If you are breathing, there is hope. And so this morning I wanted to talk with you about the fact that what can you do in your life when you feel kind of hopeless? Um, first of all, there is something that you can do. There is something that you can do. I'm just getting this right off of my screen. There is something that you can do. There are lots of things that you can do. Uh, you can, first of all, know that you don't feel in control. If you don't feel in control this morning, you are just a human <laughs> who does not feel in control. And it is not a good feeling. But let me say this to you. God and you are in control. Did you know that you are in control this morning. Even if you do not feel like you are in control this morning, God and you are in control. You can change things. You can make a difference. Things can get better that fast. Things can get better. Breathe that in. This morning, things can get better. First of all, what I really recommend all of us do as we get into a place of desolation, a place of uh, sadness and Hardness, hardness, this storm, this thing that we're going through. What do we do when we're getting in this, this dark place where we're really, it is real. The darkness is real. The storm is real. Hurricane Florence is real. The storm in your life is real. So you've got to admit reality that this is what I'm dealing with. But once you deal with reality, then you need to immediately say, this is reality, but God and I are in control. I can change things, and therefore, I have hope. I have hope this morning. And so, one of the things that can really shift you fast from a place of hopelessness to a place of hope is to have gratitude, to say, today, I am grateful. And what are you grateful for? Start, just walk around your house. If you're in your car, in your car, just start saying them out loud, all the things that you're thankful for. What are you grateful for this morning? This morning I am alive. This morning I am breathing. Today I am strong. Whew. Sometimes it has to be statements of faith, right? Today I am calm. Today I am courageous. Today I am good. Today God and I got this. I am grateful today for the things in my life. Shifting from that hopelessness to a place of gratitude just in your spirit will just lift you Gratitude will lift you when you feel like you have no way up. Gratitude will lift you. It is an amazing emotion. It is an amazing set of thoughts that you can practice. It is an amazing skill set that you can now have in your emotional toolbox that I, when I feel down, I immediately shift to gratitude. Another thing you could do right now that we can do is we can pray. God, do you know God? Perhaps you don't know God. 
It's okay. He hears you. He knows who you are. He knows your name. I know God. He knows me. Um, and today, I can talk to him. He hears me. He's listening. He cares about you. He knows your name. He knows where you are right this moment. And he is so on point, ready to hear what you have to say and to embrace you and to lift you this morning. The thing about God, though, is he is a gentleman. He does not push himself on you. So today, you don't have to talk to God. And I wouldn't recommend it, but if you choose not to, that's your choice. But God is not going to respond to you in a way that if you just call out and acknowledge him and ask him for help and advice. Because I can tell you, he's right here. He's right here, right here and right now. And sometimes the things that we have to do, okay, shift from a place of, to a, to a place of gratitude. Pray and ask God for help. You know what else you can do? You can pray and ask somebody for help. There is somebody you you know, somewhere that can give you great advice, somebody you would trade places with, somebody you respect and you admire and you honor that you could call them, you could text them, you could Facebook them and say, hey, listen, what would you, what's the advice you would give me? Get advice and then guess what? Go do it. Try to take some little seed of the advice that you got and do it. Go into action, get advice, pray, figure out what you feel like you need to do, and just one, two, three, four, jump out of your chair and go do it. Any moment you feel like you know something you could do, just get up and go do it. If it's to help someone else, if it's just to get out of your chair, if it's to be active, if it's to smile, if it might be even just to separate yourself, that's another thing you can do. Sometimes you need to separate yourself from the storm and go get to a safe place. You don't have to stay in the storm. Hurricane Florence has been raging outside all weekend, but I did not go out there and I did not put myself inside the storm. You don't have to put yourself inside the storm. Many people evacuated. You have the right and the responsibility in the storm to get to a safe place, to be in a safe place. You do not have to respond to the storm that is going on around you by staying in it. You have a choice. You can act and get out of the storm, even if it's temporarily, even if it's just for a few minutes to get yourself back to a calm place. When help comes, accept it. If someone comes alongside to lift you and encourage you, to support you in some way, let them. Let them help you. Let them walk alongside you and do whatever it is they feel like their giftedness would be able to bring to you and to bring you comfort and solace and help and action this morning. Let someone come alongside you in the storm to help. And today... You may not have done a thing right in the past. And you know what? That's possible because we're just humans. If you've done nothing right in the past, which I know that's not true, there are some things that you know you have done right. You have done well. But there's probably a lot of stuff that we've done wrong. Just say, God, I screwed up a bunch of stuff and I am so sorry. And I need you to help me today. Please forgive me. And I'm going to breathe and forgive myself. And I'm going to let it go. I'm going to sing the song, let it go, let it go, let it go. And every time it comes up and floods into my soul, into my heart, and into my mouth and my throat, I'm going to breathe, and I'm going to let it go, and I'm going to pray, and I'm going to start again. And I'm going to say today that today I'm going, I am making good decisions. Today I am making good decisions. Today I am taking personal responsibility for what I do today. Today matters. Today counts. What you do today matters because today is the first day of the rest of your life. And what you do today matters. Your joy matters today. Your action matters today. Your decisions matter today. The prayers matter today. The calls for help from your friends matter today. The love you accept into your life matters today. Accept the love that's coming into your life today. And don't try to be Superman. Don't try to be superwoman. Listen to your feelings. If you are getting overwhelmed, then just separate yourself from the situation. Take deep breaths. <sighs> Admit, man, I really felt overwhelmed right then. I felt like I was totally in control. I cannot do a thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. Scream, cry, yell. Go to a place where you've got the freedom to do that and do it. Get it out of your system. Breathe, pray, listen, 
get calm, separate yourself, whatever you need to do to regain your sense that God and I are in control today. God and I are in control today. You have to know what reality is because you just do. You cannot be an ostrich and act as if there's not a storm going on. If there's a storm going on, guess what? There's a storm going on. And you and God together are the only team that is going to make something happen because your thoughts, what you believe, your attitudes, your gratitude, your confidence, your action, your belief that today's a new day, Scarlett. It is a new day. It is a fresh day. And today, I am making good choices. And you have to think in thoughts of faith, not about what's already happened. That's the past. That's not faith. Not about things that you wish would happen, but you know they can't happen. You literally today, to go to a place of hope, you have to have faith. <clears throat> you have to believe that. I can believe today that with God, God and I are in control. And today, great things are going to happen. I am moving forward today. I am calm. I am courageous. I am in action today. I am speaking words of strength and kindness today. I, my voice is calm and clear and has no edge to it. My actions are uh, thoughtful and generous and strong and self-protective today. The thoughts you need to be thinking perhaps are not thoughts that you have mastered yet, but today you can have thoughts of faith in God and in yourself that today is a new day. It's a strong day. It's a better day. And today I am calm. Today I am courageous. Today I am loving. Today I am generous. Thoughts of faith faith will shift you from what used to be and even what is today to know tomorrow is bright. Even today is bright. Today is going to be better than yesterday because God and I are in control. God and I are in control. God is the leader of my team and I am on his team and together we are doing amazing things. You today can have hope because hope is an attitude it is a skill. It is like a hammer that will beat the darkness to death. Beat the darkness to death today. Because hope says there is a future. And my future is bright. And my future is great. And today I am alive. And today I am strong. And today I am doing amazing things. Today I am calm. Today I am bringing my best self. Today matters. And I am doing action today. Pray. Pray to God. Pray and ask help from your friends. Shift to gratitude. Take a break and separate yourself. Ask for help. Get help. And when help comes, accept it and take it. Let love come into your life today. Give love to those who need it today. And speak in thoughts of faith. Affirmations that say, that was then and this is now. And today, God and I are in control. And today is the first day of the rest of a glorious future for myself and my family. And no matter what the storm looks like today, tomorrow is going to be a better day. And in about a year, you may not even remember this day, or you have to make yourself recall it. Know that today there is hope. And you have a bright future. Today, you have a bright future. Say it with me. I have a bright and glorious future. The future is as bright as the promises of God. Thanks for watching Sunday Morning Moments today. Please make sure you like. Please make sure you share to your personal wall, to any groups that you're in. Also, would you please click my YouTube channel and subscribe and click the little bell to get the notifications. I pray it's been a blessing for you today. Please pray for North Carolina and South Carolina. Pray for all of Hurricane uh, Florence, because now it's tropical storm, but it is relentless. It has not given up, but guess what? Neither have we, and God and us, we're in control today. Much love to you. Have a great day.